it's still Aloha Friday. Oh man, is it hot over here. Okay, well, I'm $110 poor, and I haven't even got to uh, the vitamin shop yet where I have to get curcumin. That's not cheap. Um, and dandelion pills. Okay, I am so hot. Hat, hat, hat head. <laughs> um, I just came out from the 7-Eleven. No more coffee. No more coffee, icy, slurpy, whatever. So what I get, um, I have passion orange guava, which we call POG, passion orange guava. And then in the middle, I put a little bit of their sugar-free uh, mango, mango lili koi. So it tastes so tropical. Mm. I love it. I probably could have done without the artificial. Please give me air conditioning. Okay, and turn off the turn signal. And people are looking at me because I'm talking to you. Okay, so while I was waiting in line, the little girl was telling her mom, look, 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 look. And the mom thought it was my shirt because I have the um, You Are My Sunshine shirt on today. Uh, let's see, pan down. You Are My Sunshine shirt. See? But what the little girl wanted her mom to see was my cell phone case. Okay, it's got a nice wide neck band and it looks like you're wearing an old-fashioned uh, camera. And where the lens would be, it's got one of those top socket things that you can hold and it kind of gives the illusion of a telescopic lens. Isn't that ever cute? Now I saw this advertised on Instagram. If anybody orders it for their phone, A, it takes about three months to come. Uh, don't give up, it will come. And B, the, the little things on here that screw, now they um, they don't, Some mine was coming unscrewed. So my husband told me to get some Loctite at the hardware store. And I bought the cheap version of Loctite and he put it on and screwed it tight. And knock on wood, I haven't had any problems since then. But um, I highly recommend it. It's awesome. Um, I take this off of my, my across the body, off my um, little wallet purse. It's longer and it's skinnier and I put it on at nighttime. And then if I fall asleep, it might hit me in the head, it might not, but at least it doesn't fall down on the floor and get broken. So my hair is a stinking mess. It's been quite a day. It's 1.53 and I think all the kids are out from school. Um, I have a message here. Uh, Uh, from Savannah. Hold on. I'm going to put you on pause. Back on the old road again. Got a message from little Miss Savannah, but it's something that I can't do anything about anyhow. She's just telling me about some development in her life, and uh, she probably could use some help with the money aspect of it, but I am tapped out. Just can't do it the dog and etc etc yeah just can't do it so anyhow uh and i don't even know if that's a really good idea but we'll see um sorry regrouping my brain i've got my slurpee now i've got a very long drive of 15 minutes I'm thinking I'm going to go the way I always go, which is what we call back roads, okay? I wished I hadn't put that artificial flavor in. Let's see. I think you're 
more level there. You're more level-headed now. Okay. Oh, that's right. I was going to turn this around so you could see the scenery. Okay. Let me put this on pause. Okay. So it takes about 15 minutes if we have good traffic from the Pearl Harbor to my house. And I actually am going to stop by Alberta's. I hope she's home. If not, well, I will just call her and find out. I got a surprise for the kids, that's why. Ah, so this icy, this Slurpee is okay. But I was teasing the lady. I said it with a smile on my face so she knew I wasn't angry. Um, I said, I want you to file an official complaint to the head office of 7-Eleven and she started to look like serious like uh-oh what did I do and I then that's when I broke into a big smile and I said and tell them to bring the coffee slurpee back because oh man I love that coffee slurpee I said I was getting one like very frequently almost every day and now no more and she just laughed and the girl at the other cash register she just laughed too that was some good, good Slurpee, I'll tell you. I can do without Slurpees until they get it back. I got one today because I was in there and I was hot and sweaty. This is good, uh, it's 87 degrees over here, you know. Um, this is good weather for um, shave ice. You know, kids over here don't know what snow is like. And I told Alberta, we can just tell them it's like somebody dropped a whole bunch of shave ice out of an airplane. That's what it's like. Okay, here we go. This is the s sneaky way to get back on the highway. Um, it's back roads and it, even when it's really bad congestion, usually this is pretty much the best way to go. So we come around this way and I know you're supposed to go in the nearest lane and then um, put your blinker on and get in the middle lane, then put your blinker on and get in this lane. But these people on my booty was a Colette. Everybody goes zoom zoom right over to the far lane. So I got a little surprise for Alberta's great granddaughter and great grandson. And they're so cute. They're walking around in the living room having their breakfast with a big old uh, Eggo waffle in their hand. And um, today when I was there at the commissary, I saw little children's size Eggo pancakes, chocolate chip flavored, and little children's size French toast strips, um, cinnamon flavor. And I thought, oh, Layla and uh, Grayson would just love to nibble on those while they're walking around. So we're going to take this. Right now we are in the area of the Aloha Stadium. You might have heard about of Aloha Stadium. That's where the Pro Bowl used to always be. And a few years ago the contract ran out or something. I don't know. I'm going to turn down the air conditioner. I finally got the inside of the cabin nice and cooled down. So, you see the highway sign over here, Honolulu East, H201. Don't you find it hilarious? In the uh, 
it says interstate on the top, interstate Hawaii H201. Well, interstate in the mainland means it goes from state to state, right? But what state are we going to go to <laughs> on our highways? <laughs> That's silly. We can't even go to another island on our highways. So, you see, you come around here as if, just in case you're ever on Oahu and you're renting a car. So, if you're by the stadium and you want to go back to Honolulu's side, you go this way. But, Kaneohe is this way. H3. guy behind me would like to be a speed 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 racer guy but it's a kind of a tight curve I don't want to do the tight curve doing 70 miles an hour especially because they got those things seeing how fast we were going okay there's a car behind me, two links behind, and it's got something on top of it. And I think it's that Google car. I saw it, um, it'll probably pass me. Um, I saw it in Kaneohe the other day, and it said Google car, and it had the uh, thing on the top of it recording the streets and the traffic and stuff like that. comes and passes me. Maybe if I don't speed. <laughs> we'll get to see it. Maybe I should drive like an old fogey. Which I am at anyhow, right? So it's not a far stretch. <laughs> okay. Too bad it's not raining and misting. Oh man, that one time I had... I, snap pictures of like seven different rainbows just driving through this area. Man, it's driving slower than me. I am doing 55. It must be doing about 45. If it goes in front of us, should we follow him? <laughs> in my Slurpee. Oh, it's catching up to us. Woohoo! I think I'll put my cruise control on and just let it come and pass us up. If it comes around us, and it's not the Google car, then we'll have to see what it is. It's the strangest looking thing. It's got something on top of its roof. Looks like it might be, uh, what brand of car is that? Well, we'll see when it comes around us. It's just about had enough of being slow. It's going to go around me in a little minute. I'm doing 55 in a 60 zone. All these other cars are like, Lady, why are you going so slow? I can't go any faster than this. 
I know because when I've gone around other people that, that were just chugging and chugging, I always thought of the back to the time when I had an old clunker of a car and it would go sounded like a bunch of hamsters on a hamster wheel trying to get my car up the mountain. I hope you're having fun seeing the, all of this. You sure aren't very talkative today, you know. <laughs> you're not saying a thing back at me. You'll have to tell me in the comments below what it is that you were saying that got me while we were riding. Boy, they're bound and determined to stay in that lane. That's got to be that Google truck. Wow, it's even going slower than me. Now it's falling behind. Blackout curtains, 
um, completely closed, so no light escapes. Um, you can totally um, sleep right there at night in the city and not be bothered. But the bad part about that is some of the nice RV camps won't let people that just have their van turned into an RV. They won't let them come in. They want modified RVs in their place only. So that's kind of humbug. I don't know. I see the benefit of both. Because I know um, from watching all the RVers, there's a lot of times when they just cannot find a good place to... Um, here's our cutoff. Are you enjoying the view? Let me know in the comments, okay? My favorite exit. Because it's so pretty. Technically, if you're a certain way, amount of way in the intersection, they don't count it as running a red light. <sighs> Normally, I would be on this side waiting to go to my house, but I'm going to Alberta's house. Anyhow, I guess it's a good time for me to say goodbye. And this has been 18 minutes, so I will put this up when I get home after I put the cold stuff away. We're going to have taco salad tonight. It's going to be tasty, but it's going to be taco. It's not going to be taco. It's taco. Because it's like an American version of what tacos could possibly be like. <laughs> So, I will say aloha to you right, right now, and um, I will talk to you sometime tomorrow, okay? Don't think I'm going to make any more videos today. I've got about three to produce and get uploaded. So, love you guys. Talk to you later. Aloha.